Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is a Friday. So we're gonna talk about my week, my way in and the Weight Watchers workshop topic. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed, your bell notification is turned on because we do a weigh in every Friday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend those personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability, or to talk with me directly. Links, discounts to my favorite things, and my free Facebook group, we would love to have you, are all down in that description box. So let's jump in to Friday's weigh-in video. Happy Friday, friends. I hope you had an amazing, amazing, amazing week. I had a really good week. I mentioned in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day that we have some pretty big life changes coming. Pretty exciting things. I mean, huge, huge life changes coming up. We spent the entire week and weekend working on those life changes. I have not shared that here on my channel because like I mentioned in Wednesday's video, I want to put all the pieces together, make sure everything is set in stone before I share it with you, but I'll definitely give you guys lots of huge life updates coming soon. So I was busy doing that this week. It was a little on the stressful side and you'll know why when I share everything with you, but it was a busy week getting that together, just working, coaching calls, got in all my workouts, drink my water, ate my ate good food. I just had a really busy week, but I had a really exciting week and a really good week. I actually head out this next Wednesday to my 30 year high school reunion. So I'll be out of town back in Spokane with my mom for a few days. So we'll let, I'll of course let you know how I plan on navigating that. We'll do a weigh in video before I head out. It's just going to be a really busy rest of July, actually a really busy next couple of months, but I'm feeling really good about things. I'm still in maintenance. I'm still eating between 1,900 and 2,500 calories every day. I do not eat the same number of calories every day. I typically base that on hunger. On days that I work out, I typically eat a little bit more, but I've been staying at my maintenance calories in, in hopes of maintaining my current weight. Like I mentioned, I have lost 140 pounds and I have maintained that weight loss within about a five pound window for over a year, which is really incredible. Maintenance is definitely harder than losing weight. I mean, they're both hard, but maintenance just takes a little bit more dedication. It's not as exciting as seeing the scale go down. And I'm just really proud of myself that I've been consistent with my exercise, my food, enough to be able to maintain that weight loss for well over a year. Also, I've been getting a lot of questions on Lola and how she's doing. So I thought I'd give you just kind of a quick update. She did have three weeks off from having to go to chemotherapy. She did go back on Tuesday to get her week three treatment. There's four treatments per round of chemo and each big round of chemo has four rounds, if that makes sense. So she's in the third round of four in the third week of the third round. She does get to wait two more weeks to come back because she's doing really, really well. She has been, no lie, living her best life. I hated that she had to go back this week because she's been so happy, just running around playing, kind of back to her old puppy-ish self. So I'm always sad when she has to go back because it takes her quite a few days to actually feel good and recover from it. But the cancer is still, she's still in full remission, which you have no idea how grateful I am. I can't express the gratitude because she's kind of uncommon for dogs with lymphoma. She's just really done well and her remission has been on average longer than normal. She feels good, she looks good, she's happy, she's healthy. I just, I'm beyond grateful. I mean, beyond grateful. Chemotherapy for dogs is very different than chemotherapy for humans. It's a lot less it's a lot less hard on their body. Now for her, she typically has, the only symptom she typically has is kind of a low grade nausea and she'll have that for several days after chemo. And she does get a little bit of belly upset, digestive upset, where she'll have some diarrhea and just kind of not feeling her best, which kind of is with that low grade nausea that she gets. But other than that, she has very, very minimal, if any other side effects, which again, I'm so grateful for. Seriously, truly, I am so grateful. I, I wish that I could express my gratitude. It is very expensive to put your dog through chemotherapy treatments, but Lola is why chemotherapy for dogs is out there, so that they can have these happy, 
thriving life. So she is the epitome of why they have oncology for dogs, cats, pets in general. And I'm just really, again, grateful for everything. And speaking of grateful, thank you so much, so much to everybody who has purchased my health and nutrition planner. You guys are loving it. I get messages daily saying that it's really helped you stay on track, reach your weight loss goals. You love all the tools and things included in it. And all of the proceeds of the health and nutrition planner go right back to her and helping to pay for medication. Like I mentioned, I had to completely change her entire diet, hundreds of dollars to get new food, new treats, new supplements, and all of the money from the health and nutrition planner goes to Lola. So Lola and I, thank you from the bottom of our hearts for supporting us. If you haven't picked up my health planner, I'll have it linked down below right at the top for you. It's less than $20. It's interactive. It's perpetual. So you can use it month after month, year after year. It's just a great tool for weight loss and health in general. And again, Lola and I thank you from the bottom of your our hearts for your continued support. Before I jump into my weigh-in, let's talk about this week's Weight Watchers workshop topic. And that is three questions to ask yourself to help you stay on track. There is not a single person on the planet who has been on any type of health or weight loss journey that's gotten off track and needs help getting back on track. And these tip, these three tricks will help you do just that. You might be saying, why can't I stick to anything? Why is all of this work leading to no results? I absolutely blew it. It is normal to tell ourselves these things multiple, multiple times along our weight loss journey. And it can really lead to a not so happy ending. So we wanna learn how to navigate that. And we want to actually be able to ask ourselves three simple questions that will flip that narrative from something negative to something positive, which will help us stay on track. Try this. What are my thoughts right now? Pay attention to the story you're telling yourself. Ugh, I'm going to miss my step goal again. I just can't stick with anything. Why bother? Number two, how do those thoughts make you feel and what's the impact? Are they causing you to lose confidence, feel down or uninspired? How might that play out? Focus Focusing on this setback makes me frustrated and doubtful of myself. It could lead me to give up. Number three, how can I shift the story? Get curious. Think about how you would respond in a way that actually inspires you. I'll remind myself that one off day doesn't mean game over. Then I'll make a plan to walk tomorrow. Ask a friend to join me and put my sneakers by the door tonight. Have you ever found yourself way off track? I have found myself off track more times than I could count. Maybe you skipped your usual activity. Maybe you allowed yourself to enjoy your weekend and eat whatever you wanted and not track your food and then come Monday you just struggle to get back on track. Maybe you're not drinking your water. Maybe you're not tracking your food. All of these things can lead us to feeling like failures. All of these things can make us feel like we're never going to reach our goals. We can't stick to anything. We want to kind of break that chain reaction of those unhealthy thoughts and then it leads to staying off track, not tracking our food, not drinking our water, not exercising. It just kind of snowballs. So these three tips will help you help you turn some of those negative things that are happening, the getting off track moments, because it's going to happen multiple times into something that can actually be positive for your health and weight loss journey. Having the awareness and flipping the script, I promise you is going to help you turn all of those getting off track moments, all of those unhelpful thoughts, negative thoughts, because again, we're human. We're going to beat ourselves up. We're going to have those thoughts. We're going to get off of track and using these three tips to help us return to more of a Zen state, a positive state is not only going to help you mentally, physically, but will also help you stay on track and help you get the weight off and keep it off long term. I really like this topic because it really just teaches you about awareness. When you have those negative thoughts, when you get off track, when you're struggling, being aware of that and again, being able to flip the script. Let me know down below, what are your tips and tricks for turning those negative thoughts into healthy, into positive thoughts? And what do you do if you're off track to get back on track? Let us know down below. I cannot wait to hear your tips and tricks. And with that being said, let's talk about my way in. So I, like I mentioned last week, I started my cycle. I did finish out my cycle the very beginning of this week. From my cycle, we go into ovulation. And like I always say, know your body, know how your body responds to different cycles throughout the month, especially as a woman, and how that translates on the scale. For me, whenever I am in ovulation, so typically a day or two leading up to it, and then the first or second day of ovulation, my weight always spikes up. Always, always, always. And I mean several pounds, two, three, four pounds. It's exactly what happened this week. As soon as I got off my cycle, went into ovulation, my weight spiked up. By the end of the week, I was finishing out ovulation. Actually, today is my first day not being in ovulation. So my weight typically will level out the last day or so of ovulation. And then of course, 
past that. So it was literally up about three pounds on the scale the majority of the week. So coming off of my cycle, going through ovulation, my weight always goes up. I never panic because I know my body. And that's why I always say the scale is only one small measurement of your overall success. And when your body is changing and when you have certain times throughout the month that your weight goes up, you just have to know that so that you don't beat yourself up when you see a higher number on the scale. As of yesterday, my weight started to kind of level out again. And when I stepped on the scale today, I am exactly the same weight as I was last week. Now, if you remember, I have been up on the scale, just point this, point that the last couple of weeks. And I always say I consider that a maintenance and I maintained that exact same weight that I was last week. So overall, I am up a tiny bit ounces on the scale. We don't care about her. We don't care about ounces. I feel really good considering coming off my cycle, going through ovulation, being extremely busy and a little extra stressed this last week, going through life changes. I'm really proud of a maintenance. I'm really, really proud of a maintenance. Oh, and other side note, I actually ate out more than normal this last week because I was just so busy with life. And then leading into next week where I'm traveling, my goal of course would be to maintain my weight again while I'm at my high school reunion. I do plan on working out while I'm in Spokane. I plan on going back to Jazzercise. If you know, you know. If you're an OG, you know when I lived in Spokane, before I really started to lose weight, I went to Jazzercise. I am going to go to my same Jazzercise studio and go to a couple classes, get in some movement. I will be eating out for all of my meals, so I'll be navigating that. And we'll just kind of see what the scale says next week. But my goal is to continue with maintenance. Maintaining my weight is my goal for my trip, is my goal for this next week, and was my goal for last week. And here we are maintaining my exact same weight, which like I said, makes me really, really happy. I am planning on packing protein shakes and snacks with me. I am flying, so I am going to just pack those in my checked bag, my protein shakes, the pre-made ones. Since they're a liquid, I have to put them in my checked bag. I will be packing protein snacks and things with me so that I'm really just eating my meals out and all of my snacks and things can come in the form of things that I pack. That just really helps me stay on track while traveling. So of course I'll give you guys all the updates on my trip. Probably not this not this next win, but the following since I'll still be in Spokane this next Friday. So overall I'm feeling really good and a maintenance it was for the week. Now I want to hear from you guys. How was your week? Did you gain? Did you lose? Let us know all your tips and tricks for this week's topic down below. And of course let me know how everything is going for you. I love hearing from you guys down in the comments. And if you enjoyed another weigh-in video, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on because we do a weigh-in every Friday and I do upload five videos every single week. Don't forget to pick up the health and nutrition planner. Again, Lola and I appreciate your support. You're going to love it. It's such a great tool for reaching your goals. And of course, join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. Thank you so much for watching. Again, happy Friday and I will see you in tomorrow's grocery haul. Bye.